the third question is a concave mirror and a convex lens a concave mirror and a convex lens of same focal length are 40 cm apart both have the same focal length f an object is placed 40 cm from the convex lens so you have a convex lens and a concave mirror which are 40 cm apart and the object is placed 40 cm from the convex lens again it said that the object position coincides with the image position object position coincides with image position okay now the question is find the focal length of the lens or the mirror again this question is similar to the question we solved earlier again you see that let's say that this lens forms an image somewhere here image now if this mirror so that means what if for this lens if the object would happen here the image would happen here but if this convex uh, concave mirror introduces a displacement in the position of this point let's say after reflection the convex sorry the concave lens forms an image here now you know that if the object for this lens is here the image will be formed at some other place because of the principle of reversibility the principle of reversibility says that o i pair is unique so if this position of this position changes this position also changes so that means what the concave mirror should not introduce any shift in this point i so even if the concave mirror is placed here if the object to the concave mirror is at i the image to, to the concave mirror should also be formed at this point only when does that happen when does a concave mirror form an image at the same position it forms the image at the same position when the object is placed at a, at a distance r or it is placed at the point which is its pole right yeah okay now let's say that the object is placed at its pole so the object is placed here so that means what the convex lens forms an image at a distance of 40 cm the object is also kept at the distance of 40 cm so which means 1 by u plus 1 by v is 1 by f 1 by 40 plus 1 by 40 is equal to 1 by f or f is my 20 cm so this is the first case when the image is formed at the pole of the concave mirror the focal length is 20 cm now the other case is when the image is formed at the radius of curvature of the concave mirror when the object is placed at the radius of curvature the image is formed at the same place and so when this acts as the object to this lens its image is formed here so when this is the radius of curvature so this distance will be 2f and which what will be this distance this distance will be 40 minus 2f this distance okay so you now write the equation for the convex lens 1 by 40 1 by u is 1 by 40 divided by 1 by 40 minus 2f which is this distance is equal to 1 by f now if you solve this you will get a quadratic whose root will be 20 2 plus minus 2, 2 centimeter so this is my other solution 
my first solution f is equal to 20 centimeter and this is my second solution okay so now we move on to the fourth question The fourth question is as follows. The fourth question says two identical biconcave lenses of power 5D are placed on opposite sides or at distance of 10 cm are placed at a distance of 10 cm each two centimeter from a biconvex lens of power 10 D So you have two identical biconvex con biconcave lenses of power 5D and each is each are placed at a distance of 10 cm from a biconvex lens of power 10D. Now the question is find the distance s find distance s from the first biconcave lens from the first biconcave lens uh, at which an object should be placed so that the image is formed at a distance s from the second biconcave lens Okay, now let me draw the diagram so you understand the question properly. The question is, you have two biconcave lenses. and a biconvex lens placed in between them the focal length of this biconcave lens is given as the power is 5d so the focal length is 1 by f is power so f is 1 by 5 meter in centimeter it is 20 centimeter the focal length of this will be 10 centimeter again using the same formula 1 by f is equal to 10 so f is 1 by 10 meters or 10 centimeter so this has a focal length of 20 centimeter again okay now the question says that an object is placed at a distance s from the first biconcave lens and the image is formed at a distance s from the second biconcave lens so it has been asked to find the value of x what is s okay so let's solve this question let's first understand what is happening let's say that the object is here it will form an image at a position x 
right now this uh, since this case is similar to this case this all this, this forms an image at s the only difference is that it has an object at x it has an object at s and it forms an image at x but in this case it has an image at s so it has it should have an object at what point x for this concave lens because for an object s you get an image x so if image is s so the object should be at x so that means this convex lens should form an image at this position x so that is that was the trick in this question now let's solve this question it's very simple now for this biconcave lens i can write 1 by u what is u u is s plus 1 by v this is my real space the image is in this space so it's negative so 1 by minus x is equal to 1 by f focal length is negative for a concave lens so this is my first equation for this biconcave lens now let's write the equation for this convex lens what is u u is 10 plus x and is positive and what is v v is again positive 1 by 10 plus x is equal to what is f f is positive 1 by 10 so that means 20 is equal to 10 plus plus x or x is equal to 10 centimeter okay now if i put it here i will get 1 by s is equal to 1 by x minus 1 by 20 or 1 by s is 1 by 20 or s is equal to 20 centimeter so my answer is 20 centimeter okay so now let's move on to the i guess fifth question 